Okay, this is my solar batch water heater part two. I've got it hooked up now. I uh, let me show you what I did here. This is uh, this is it's a little bit out a uh, little bit uh, as you can tell the tank is slanted up. Hot water has uh, the density is is less and uh, so your hot water always rises to the top of the tank and I've got to put a vent in the top of the water heater uh, I bought a tap the other day I'm gonna tap the top of the water heater right here and put like a uh, it's sort of like a a uh, little saddle valve type thing. It, it, I'm just using the the saddle part or the valve part of it, the valve stem, and uh, it's a three eighths. But I ran copper here. This is going to be my hot water line, and I used PEX. I uh, the PEX is uh, can't be exposed to ultraviolet sunlight, so I've got it covered up with tape. This is my hot water line pressure relief valve will pop at 200 and I've got to run that out I hadn't I've got a couple little small drips I don't know if you can tell there a little bit of water on the thing this this here is dripping just a little bit and here's my cold water inlet going uh, going in over there and I got the drain I got a drain valve on it and I'm using this uh, this plywood which which I cut in a uh, uh, made like a half circle with it, and a couple couple sheets of five eighths plywood and a two by four, and I got a couple little bitty small drips. I just got it hooked up yesterday. We had some really cold weather. It it is uh, it's uh, like the fifth of March or sixth of March, and so uh, I, I was working. I was working. Get off me. Get... Okay, uh, got a drain here. I wanted to keep the drain as low as I could, so that's the lowest point in the water heater that I could get. And uh, basically, what it did, I mean, I can only s suppose that I've got air from, uh, from here up which is probably cutting out about maybe 10 gallons of water. And uh, so I'm going to put a tap in it up here. I put a, uh, I've heard some people say on other videos that they were having a problem with it sliding. So I built this, uh, this little thing here so that I never had to worry about it trying to slide on me. And, uh, I dug it, uh, put it in the ground like I was talking about up to the up to the front edge, and uh, dug my water lines. I was having a little real hard time digging this dirt. I wanted to make it digger deeper. I, I was only able to get it about a foot deep because I I was hitting a lot of rock, and uh, I went over here. Had to actually dig up underneath this walkway. And uh, this is the north side of the uh, of the house, and uh, I'm planning on this is all brick, and uh, there's some good websites. Uh, I think uh, one of them is uh, put out by the Colorado uh, Power Company. I'm using Shark Bite fittings to connect my. I've got a. Uh, this is my hot one. The red's hot, and then the, I got white for the coal. They just come in different colors. So I ran through there, and uh, let me show you what else I've done inside. Okay, I'm inside the house now. Here's where I came in, and uh, that's 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 where it goes out through the wall there. And I've got that uh, these uh, these CPVC lines that you're looking at right here. Now uh, that was for my uh, my water heat or my water um, 
uh, circulating system. I uh, that's that was just in case I needed an extra line to heat with. And you see, I've got these uh, these uh, ceiling rafter type stuff going around the room. And uh, what I thought I would do is when I once I finish it, which I got to run a wire, but once I finish it, I'm gonna do just do the same thing with what they've done with the rest of the house. But I came over the top through here, and then I'm uh, in here. I've got uh, the lines running out and uh, coming on down through here. And uh, they're running on into that, into the other uh, where the water heater is. Let me show you that. Okay, I'm in here where the water heater is now. And uh, I've got, here's my cold water line up here. And uh, it's connecting again with a shark bite over to the pecs. And here's my hot water line. And I've got a water valve on there. And then, uh, then I've got this valve right here, which is uh, going on down into the water heater. So, in order for me to for me to uh, cut off the cold water in, uh, supply to the water heater, I just close this one, and then uh, now my hot water from the solar panel comes in here and goes down into the water heater. So I'm basically just going from this pipe over to the solar water heater and then back on the red going into the water heater there. Now, uh, something I might want to mention to you, well, I'll just go ahead and show you here too. The, here's my uh, circulation pump. Now, this is for my, uh, this is for my heating system and uh, it's controlled uh, by a thermostat and uh, when it gets cold it just turns the circulation pump on and I've got a, another video that shows you uh, how that's working but uh, I decided I would not uh, hook the circulation pump up to the water heater because uh, I mean if the water's coming in this water heater and it's colder uh, than what it should be, then uh, it, it's going to actually cause the water heater to run more. So what I, I thought I could do is, is hook it up so that I've got a thermostat outside and, and if the water temperature is say, let's say it's 140 degrees outside, if I got a water temperature out there of 140, then it can uh, it can just switch this uh, circulation pump, and uh, let me show you what else I did. Okay, uh, this is the cover that I'm going to be putting on the uh, on the top of the solar panel uh, once I get it all set up. Uh, I'm gluing this. I just glued this thing down to the. It's one of those uh, two and a half inch uh, thick. Uh, polyurethane foam boards and I, I this is an old trampoline actually is what I got here and uh, it's a really tough uh, nylon material and uh, so I just glued it down to the board I'm letting it dry I wasn't able to get all the wrinkles out of it but hopefully it won't look too bad but uh, anyway I've got I've got this board I figured it'd be more uh, uh, weather uh, durable with this thing glued on there and uh, then I've got this uh, bubble wrap stuff it's like uh, some of the new uh, I thought that I would put this uh, this stuff here up underneath the uh, the cover and then that'll reflect the the heat back into the uh, the panel when I close the cover in the evening all right, hold on just a second. Okay, this is the last part I wanted to show you. What I did is, uh, this is a, a, a coil off of an air conditioner. It's, uh, normally it would be a round coil, like that might be on a comfort maker or a, or a temp star or 
a carrier or something like that and it's just an old coil that was not leaking and uh, what I did is I cut uh, the U-joints off the ends of the coil so I lost them maybe an inch or so of the coil on both sides and then I took uh, some a brazen rod which is like six percent silver and uh, that's what they always use uh, for this kind of stuff and it it makes a uh, it makes a very tough seal um, and so I just brazed all these things up because I had like straight pipe sticking out and um, there's a little trick to the way I did this. What I did is I, I marked it really good, but right in the middle by just laying a piece of three quarter inch pipe up on it. And then I drilled these things just slightly larger than the tube. And then um, I took a, um, a nail set and I set my nail, uh, set a dimple, a dimple in the three quarter inch pipe and uh, with a hammer and that way uh, my drill bit was not trying to slide around on this this tubing and so uh, I was able to uh, to get the drill uh, the the holes made in here and it does not leak it's been raining so I got water down here but uh, I've pressure I've pressure tested it and it doesn't have a leak in it uh, now, honestly, uh, I did have a couple of leaks, and I've been doing heating and air for quite a while, since 1986, and uh, so I'm going to tell you right now that uh, if you're planning on doing this, you need a little bit of skill to do, to do it. This is not something that, uh, as an unskilled person you would want to try this because it you're going to have leaks all I can recommend is if you want to try it uh, use an inspection mirror make sure that everything looks you're not got you don't have any gaps uh, don't don't put anything water in it or anything until you check it and uh, test it before you do any before you hook it up to the system this one here I actually messed up what I was doing when I cut my when I cut my U joints off the end of the coil, I uh, uh, I, I was having to pull the fins. These fin these aluminum fins will pull off of the copper tubing, and when I was pulling one of the fins, I wound up kinking one of these pipes. So I lost one of the pipes. So I just went ahead and just instead of shortening the whole thing, I just dropped that one pipe. But uh, anyway, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. This is uh, this part two, and and uh, we're pretty much down to just uh, seeing how this thing works now. Thank you.